Hey guys, welcome back to the C and J show. And I have my favorite Jenny Juice here, and I have my sister Neek here. And guys, thank you for coming back for part two with the R. Kelly series. And Neek, finish. So he, you know, brought back, you know, Ron Isley in the Isley Brothers career, Charlie Wilson's career. He created a career for Selena Johnson. You know what I mean? Just, you know, and who was, who was what's the other girl's name? Uh, Kelly K Price? Kay Michelle. I don't know if he wrote, did he write also for Kelly Price too? I know Kay Michelle. I know for sure Selena Johnson. I know for sure. Well, I, I know that's when I first seen her with, who was a friend of mine's, right? With them. Oh yeah, that's true. He was like, uh, but yeah, yeah, he mm -hmm. was like speaking on it or whatever. So I'm pretty sure he probably was, you know, writing and producing as well because Ron Nisley was on that as, as well. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I think that he did a lot for, and, and it's just such a shame that you got that much talent. And then not getting the proper help. Everybody is helping you to basically drown yourself. You know yeah. what I mean? As if the, none of this stuff was ever going to come back. Yeah, there are some girls that are with older guys and it does not affect them. They're fine with it. But then there's other girls where they feel like, you know, their youth, they were stripped of their youth. or And especially where you sound like how they say allegedly he was you know, treating them, yeah. you know, that's going to come back one day. You know, they're yeah. not going to be 14, 15, 16 forever. And I, and so, I think, too, so what, what, um, what I think happened was, and this is being honest, I don't think that with these girls, I don't think that you guys was, and, okay, forgive me if so, but this is my opinion. I don't think that you guys was raped or you was done wrong. I think this this is my opinion. I think you were when he didn't have a need for you anymore. So the calls could probably stop or maybe that attention stopped because you are at the age of 14, 15 where you're now starting to get this this feeling to the to liking somebody. So if I'm just thinking to, to myself, if I was 14 and 15 in Usher liked me, we still would be together today because it would be hard for me to detach myself from him. How am I going to do that? I, I, I don't know. I really love you. You're my fan. You, you, you show me attention. You show my, my friend's attention, but that's the thing with, I guess, a celebrity in their mindset. You're 14, 15, 16. So I'm, I'm guessing maybe by the time you turn about 18, 19, maybe he's through with you. Who who knows? But it would be hard for him to just put that intention to you. So now you're going to start feeling like he's treating you very nasty. And how he's acting and got the money, he is going to start treating you nasty. Listen, be this, probably pushing you down, doing whatever. Not that you're around because he don't need you to be around him anymore. But you want to be because now you feel like he was in a relationship. It has nothing to do with he's trying to make your career better it maybe have started off that way but that's not the way that it ended and we know that from men could be very nasty when well, they don't see, want I just, you i disagree i disagree, I, disagree. Why? I tell you why all right i feel like with the whole situation or whatever um being older he could manipulate the females and of course you know maybe they got older and he didn't have much of a need for them but I do feel like there is a such thing as 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 rape. Although even if she said, okay, yeah, that's fine. She's not old enough to give you consent. So that alone is, is rape, right? Because as she get older, she'll realize like, okay, I really don't want to be in that type of situation. With no or I man. didn't even know what I was saying yes to. I didn't, exactly. So I, I, I don't agree with the fact that, okay, you probably wanted it or this. I mean... I got nieces 13 and, you know, what I, I can't imagine a, a 25, 30 year old man talking about, well, she said it was okay. What do you mean she said it was okay? You yeah, no, I mean? it doesn't make it. No, what I'm saying, let me retract re that. I don't, I'm not saying, okay, no, that is not okay. But in the, when you are in middle school and you're with, like, for girls, sometimes they can be very fast no, in, be fast. in the very hot in the pants. Now that is not if you if they act the way about a, a older boy, how would you act about somebody that's a superstar? I disagree because I'm thinking about me personally. Like when I was that age, yes, I loved Ti to the death of me at me that too. age. 
Like, I literally cried real tears when I found out that he was married to Tiny. Because in my mind, I really felt like one day I would get older and we would be together, right? But I can't imagine me in my 14-year-old mind and me knowing how scary I was, like how naive I was, I would say, in terms of like sex. To now be thrown in front of this person and them expecting me to have sex with them. I don't care how much I loved him. That is just something that at that time, I'm not ready for. You can, It's like a yeah. puppy love. And I'm not but saying it's that. it's not like, oh, I'm ready to screw no. you down and have sex with you. No, of course, of course no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying it like that. What I'm saying is, you're 14, 15, not that, you know, just, oh, hey, listen, let's just do it. No, he coached them into that stuff. Like, okay, hey, yeah. All right, then you're doing a good job. All right, well, here go fifty dollars and go get yourself some more shoes with your friends and stuff. All of that stuff starts. Okay, he's coaching you because he's grown. He knows what to do. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I was looking at something and just thinking to myself, you know what, men, we think as women that it's all about the youth. That this is what they really want. This girl that looks really good all the time, and so, but. The thing is, they're getting older and want to youth, but the real reason is because it's easier for a young chick to be thrown over you, put up with your crap over and over and over because they haven't grown in mind yet. While your wife and the older women know, honey, listen, that thing ain't working no more. You got to take that Viagra pill. I, I already know. You're not coming in that door like that no more now. Stop. I, I'm looking at you. You're just as ugly as I feel. So don't worry about that. And then for a younger girl, only thing you could do is help me get on my feet with some gash. And that is going to start putting something in their head, all this other kind of stuff. But I'm saying just going by the girl, the the girl page, with the um, her parents that was uh the the pastor. Okay, he had the videos with her, gave her the her- herpes and stuff, did whatever with her, and yes, you can start feeling the way. And I'm I can imagine you as a young somebody then did this to you. Because it, for them, it wasn't nothing like, okay, you raped or you did whatever. Because none of them said he raped. This stuff was consensual. And none of them never said that. It was the treatment of after the fact that I have just fell in love with you and now you're treating me like crap. Really? And that's basically, yeah, then basically that's what he did with the girl. Paige, okay, her thing, okay, she got sick or something, something happened. You gotta go tell your mom. You gotta go to the doctor. Okay, so R. Kelly gave you her piece, and that was what they was going to court for for her piece, and it wasn't for nothing else. But during that part, he started to be very nasty. Okay, following her, saying no, you not, and but you know. but let's look at it too, right? I think all of it, a, a lot of it, does boil back down to you know money as well. Yeah, because. How many people then call it herpes or any type of STDs and nobody don't go to court for it? You know, that's not something you can sue somebody for. I'm pretty sure. Unless, you, unless well, you're you can, rich. The average but Joe. The average Joe, you know, walk around here passing out STDs every day. Yeah. And nobody's in court trying to sue them for that. I mean, although you can, I guess, but like, you know, it's, it's R. Kelly. So this is a reason to, to sue him and try to get some money. Yeah. You get what I mean? And I think that's. I think that's what it is. I feel like that's the reason why the managers are speaking. I feel like that's the reason why his whole team is speaking. It's because the money stopped. Once the money stopped, the loyalty stops. Yeah. So. And then and, and, and it will be I very hard. I guess I just don't. I, I know what's obvious and I know what, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I would just hate to think that these girls let money shut them up this whole time. And now that the money done dried up, everybody's coming out the woodwork. I would just hate to think that everybody has that same agenda i don't think for them it's the older not. ones i don't think it was was money i think it was you know what i was young i really did love him and i thought too i was gonna have um because a lot of them could sing and i thought i was gonna have something and now one person come out and yeah when one person could tell you something it would to strike up okay let me just me that happened to me too he did me very wrong and for the most part i really did think and that would hurt you you thinking that's okay listen i think that i thought i was gonna have me a career 
Plus, I was with a, a, a superstar that was worldwide and fine. I did everything that he was saying do. I made myself available, and I was just a little girl trying to do all this. Then he's telling me to keep quiet, you know, don't tell everybody with your parents and stuff, with everything, and I'm doing all that stuff. And the next minute, I really can't do anything because in mind, and you know, in my mindset, now I'm screwed and I'm hurt really bad. Yeah, I mean, but I feel like that was the, I feel like that was a lot of there. I think it, I mean, I don't know if that would have been the same conversation had their um, careers took off. You know what I mean? Because I think a lot of them, that was the whole thing was like, well, you know, he promised me a record deal. He promised me a song. He promised me this. He promised me that. And after a while, it's like, okay, well, nothing's happening. So I'm just going to go. And I get it. You know, this could be your lottery ticket. But if there's no music being made, there's nothing going on. And I get you don't want to like, okay, well, it could be tomorrow. It could be tomorrow. It could be tomorrow. So, you know, you don't want to leave because you feel like, okay, well, it may be to be tomorrow that, you know, I get my opportunity to get in the studio. Because I know you work with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And I know he's on tour. And I know he's working. And I know he's away. So, you know, you stay and you, you know, hold on to uh, hope that you'll get your opportunity. So, maybe that, I mean, I think they was faced with a lot of different circumstances that, that kept them, I, I'm assuming. Has yeah. any one of them admitted to having, like, romantic feelings for him? The tear says it. <sighs> the tear says it. The tear says it. The tears. The tears says it. Because, look, so, in the surviving R. Kelly thing, right, when you, when you do look at the hurt and the tears and all that the kind of stuff that these girls have went through. And yes, they're grown women. Like they say, yes, we're grown women. But at the time when this stuff happened, I was not. And that makes me feel like this, guys, before we end this with, you know, before we end this, do you also feel as if we are Kelly? Yes, he has this sick fetish with this 13 to 15, 16, something in their age group. Do you think that maybe other people really, they've seen it, but they really couldn't catch on like that because I guess the way that they, they, they put it, the women, that, the girls came from a broken home. Maybe they really did not have the parents like any lives like that. But for the most part, this was probably happening once a month or two because he had, like, you know, it's not just he's getting 14, 13 year olds and like it's 10 at a time. It seemed like it was he was dealing with one at a time or two at a time. And you think maybe nobody really they could look at it crazy, but then probably say, okay, maybe he is um maybe just working with her or something like that. I mean, it could be. You know, it could be something like that or you know? I don't, but I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I think everybody around him knew he was a pedophile. I don't think anybody for a second thought that he was doing anything legit with these girls. I think they just knew it was all a ruse because which one of these girls ever made it big except Aaliyah, which he was messing with her too. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think with the same situation. And Sparkle, she was speaking for for years, and they kind of. But it was her niece, though. Yeah, the niece, but still, it was still she was she spoke on. Yeah, she said she she didn't she in the she said but but the thing is, and this is this is what happened. She said that her family stopped speaking to her once that information got out, because she said she and she said she risked her career to put this out like no he's going to jail like I don't you know what I mean whatever it is I'm over it but that could be either over embarrassment maybe regardless of the situation maybe the family don't want their business out there or it could be they had a deal with R. Kelly and he you are saying all of this stuff and you know blah, yeah no nah, it, it had but to be years, a deal because, because if years it was later, cause you, you would understand like I don't want everything put out like that because I want to try to protect her you get what I'm saying or whatever it is and I think that in that, you will still have a respect for a person or, like, you you, you kind of still understand. Even if they're not doing it how you want them to do it, if somebody is trying to protect you and trying to be there for you in, in, in that type of a way, yeah, you might be mad with the way that they did it, but you have to still understand. that. just like you got an older brother or older whoever, and they come and their way of protecting you is going and making sure there ain't nobody around the house when you're outside. 
You know what I mean? Although you may not like it like that, that's the way of, of giving you some form of protection. So if that was her way. But then with a 14-year-old, then you got your auntie that's saying this. And it's kind of like, okay, you're kind of you're stopping me from seeing him. Because now I I actually, this is a superstar. And, 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 and this is past the fan thing. So, she was saying this when all of the stuff was going on with R. Kelly. Who? The Why? uncle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she had been said the tape been got released way back. I mean, they were selling it at the flea market. Um, no, they did. I kept hearing people saying that they. Oh, that something. was the niece. That was the first. The I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was Sparkle's niece, and so they, uh, she. You know, and she she um and I have to say this. Well, I never saw the video. I I'm seen put it that on record. I I did but, see it, and from what I. Um, seeing when I did see it, I, I, unless he just, unless she, she just knew, I really did not think that this was a four, 14 year old. Cause you're just thinking like, okay, you should probably be just sitting there. She's, she's, she was actually more so a, in a leading, like a leading role. Yeah. Like a leading role. People mm. fall in love with their captors and people fall in love with their no, but, rapists. But you see, they, if it's happening on a constant enough basis yeah, to yeah. where these people are treating you good, they're manipulating you, you know, your mind is being screwed every which way. Yeah. You know, you do fall in love with these people and I feel bad for these, even more so for these young girls that they were manipulated so bad yeah. to the point where... This man has literally made you fall in love with him and he could be your dad. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Our granddad. You know, it's yep. just that is that is insane. Like he is really sick. He he's yeah, he's passed out. So guys, we'll, you know, we're gonna let this be and our next topic with him is did the parents how much did they know or did they not know? And we are out. Uh -huh.